Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be decorating my dining room for summer. Hi, I'm Tanya. Here are all the items I will be using to decorate our dining room. I shopped our home first and I was actually able to find everything I needed to decorate our dining room for summer here at home. Before we start decorating, I'd like to introduce you to Rebecca and her channel, Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. She likes to decorate her home, go shopping and share with you haul videos, DIY videos, and home tour videos as well. Please check out her channel and subscribe. Let her know in the comments that Tanya sent you. I'll link her channel in my description below. I know you will enjoy watching her videos as much as I do. Let's start decorating. I'll begin by placing this welcome banner across my china cabinet. I purchased it several years ago at Target on clearance. You may be asking yourself, Tanya, why do you have bunny decor in the middle of summer? Well, I have a plan for it. I purchased these bunny wall decor pieces after Easter this year on clearance with the intention of cutting off the bunnies. I can leave it plain and use it as decor year round, or I can add this fish to it and change it from season to season. I got these fish in the Target dollar spot several years ago for $1 each. I used to have them in our children's bathroom as wall decor, but then I took them down when we remodeled it and I never put them back up. So now I'm going to be reusing them in our dining room. I just took the twine that was already on them so that they could be hung and I used it to hang them around the bow. When summer is over, I will just simply remove them and get it back to a plain year round decor. I love how the light from the china cabinet is reflecting on the wall. It reminded me of how the sun reflects on water. Next, I'm going to add our table runner that we got at Home Goods several years ago. The blue in it and the pattern on it for some reason makes me think of waves. Now I'm going to add this cane tray as the anchor to my centerpiece and then I will add this cane candle holder. I purchased all the cane pieces from a local garage sale site back in January, but it looks like they were all originally from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to add this ship, which was also a Target dollar spot purchase from several years ago. Then I'll add this faux starfish, which is part of a beach themed filler that I got several years ago at Home Goods. Now I'm going to add my other cane candle holder and LED candle to the table as well. Then I'm going to add this vintage bottle that I thrifted. To that I'll add another faux starfish. Once I set these three pieces down together, I immediately thought about a message in a bottle. So I'm going to take this piece of paper and roll it up and create my own message in a bottle that's washed up on shore. You'll notice that I'm following the decorating rule of three, the candle holder, the bottle, and the starfish. Decor arranged in threes or in odd numbers is more appealing to the eye. Next, I'm going to place this glass vase with cotton stems that I got at Hobby Lobby several years ago in the center of my tray. Then I'll add this green wreath that mimics the green wreath in the wall decor. Then I'll add this brass bowl that I thrifted a couple years ago. Now I'm going to pour in some sand from another centerpiece that I'm not currently using into this centerpiece that I want to use. It really makes decorating budget friendly when you can take items that you already have in your home and use them in another way to freshen up your decor taking the sand out of this apothecary jar and placing it in this brass bowl is creating a brand new centerpiece for my dining table. Now I'm going to take some more of that beach themed filler and place it in the bowl of sand. If you're enjoying this video,
please click like and subscribe. It helps my channel shine. Next, I'm going to add some nautical rope that I got at Dollar Tree years ago for texture and visual interest. Now I'm going to place some more of the beach themed filler on the table to create some more visual interest. I really love how the dining room turned out with its summer decor. It's simple, but still beautiful. I also really love the ambient lighting from our chandelier, our china cabinet, and the LED candles on the table. It adds a soft glow to this area. I hope this video gives you some summer decor inspiration for your dining room. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with a friend, click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye!